I wish that Jeffrey did not win Project Runway 3. I did I really could not stand I second him. Second that. And I didn't I didn't like his fashion. I didn't want him to win as a as a fashion guy. I didn't want him to win as a reality contestant. I just couldn't stand him, couldn't stand his tattoo, couldn't stand his attitude, couldn't stand his greasy hair, couldn't stand his Freddy Krueger sweaters, everything I hated about him, and I wanted him <laughs> done and gone, and he won the whole thing. And there's oh, nothing Freddy worse Krueger. than when the, the player that you hate the most wins a whole show. I, I don't know why anyone honestly cares about this family. I, yeah. you, know, you were saying you like you like these shows with a big house and and, and famous kids. How about a show that's actually interesting? You know? My favorite reality moment of the year was on Big Brother All Stars when there was a competition called But First. And the reason why I loved that was because that came from an inside joke that actually started, believe it or not, with my friend and I. Mm. And then we started TV Gasm and we sort of introduced that joke uh, to TV Gasm and then all of a sudden sort of got into pop culture and then it got actually onto the TV show. And so that was really very exciting, sort of mixing the two worlds. What do you like about this show? Absolutely nothing, actually. I, re <laughs> I really detest the show. It's a little silly, you know, to think that Mr. Cheese is a great big motivator. I mean, honestly, if you went to a car dealership and Mr. T was selling your car, wouldn't you buy it too? It'd be like, I bought this car from Mr. T. It's been clear that Danny Bonaducci needs to go off somewhere and cut off the world or whatever, maybe start a new life. I know he likes the attention, whatever, but it's terrible for him. Right. It's yeah. absolutely terrible, and I don't like enabling it, to be F honest. Famous the Here's the truth. As long as the boardroom remains awesome, yeah. then the show will remain awesome because the challenges are always fun to watch, and I love them dearly, but it always comes down to the boardroom. And as yeah. long as that can stay intact and be fun and Donald Trump goes to town on these people and they fight, I will be perfectly content. That is, that is Some of his tactics were, like when he had his co-talk, or co-listening or co-talking, yeah. whatever it was, he's like, okay, what you do is you talk and you listen and then you talk <laughs> and you listen. Or as we call it, having a discussion, you know what I mean? For the men, we endorsed James from last season. Yeah, uh, we Which also kind of a boring one. James, you know, James is crafty. He's a crafty guy. Oh, you know, Howie. here's the thing, Howie. He's an entertaining guy, but he made so many dumb mistakes. Yeah. But that's fun to watch. I think no, yeah, it was not fun. No, no, it was painful. What do you guys think of Lucas popping off so early in the show? He, uh, he was a little bit of a jerk, I thought. I, I thought it was unnecessary, especially since he did get such a good reception. He should have stayed back and been more of a gentleman. But I guess rock's not about that. But you know what, though? Isn't it a little hard to take him seriously as a rock when he's got that Toronto accent going on? Yes, that's you know, it's sort of like. So Canadian. I was really sad that Giacomo didn't last longer because I love when he yelled, Giacomo!